Isaiah chapter 10 verse 1 Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Shalom to the elect and the one third of the children of Israel. My name is Brother Daniel Allah from the province in Babylon. Double honors to the teachers and the head apostles of the great Mustang of Well. Peace and salutations to the Akim. I push out this word with you with sincerity. Also, Brakata to the Akwathim who are listening as well. Came across this post uh, on Instagram. Uh, a brother named uh, uh, Malkaya underscore 144K uh, from the Warriors for uh, for from the channel Warriors for Yahawashai. All right, Warriors for Yahawashai. And, uh, and they made a post of the word uh, stringent. All right. Stringent. And it says uh, in the definition of the word uh, uh, stringent is of regulations, requirements, or conditions, strict, precise, and exacting. All right. And it has these similar words. Like strict, firm, rigid, rigorous, severe. But the main word that we want to get here today is draconian. So they underline the word draconian. All right. And the draconian, uh, like the word draconian is originated uh, from the, you know, like from the earlier centuries of, of the draconian laws. Uh, from uh, from Athens, which is from Greece, uh, where it first originated in the in the Grecian Empire. All right, and they came across this post. Uh, all right, which I'll be putting on the screen right here. It says Anthony. It says Anthony Versace. You know, I gotta switch up the alias so it won't uh, you know, like mess with the algorithms. So, Anthony Versace says, if we could do it again, C-19, restrictions will be much, much more stringent. All right, and that's the goal when it comes to uh, um, totalitarianism, which means that they want to have complete control of all regions. You know, you know how certain countries, like, for example... North Korea is uh, authoritarianism, which means that they want to have uh, that they want to have full control of the, of their region, to have um, to have full control of their people within their region. But you know, Job nine twenty four, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Uh, Esau Edom, the so called white man who is in rulership today, and his rulership is about to be. Uh, turned upside down it's about to fall over and it's falling over as we speak but they want to have full control of the entire world with draconian laws okay so 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 Versace was talking about how if there was another you know so called uh, you know another uh, pandemic it's going to be much worse the rules are going to be way worse than uh, 2020 which was uh, only a test run when they locked down the uh, you know like all 50 states man with uh, rules and regulations and people couldn't handle staying at home people couldn't handle uh uh, not going to work or or do or, or doing what they want to do, you know. So the next one is going to be the last one. The next uh, the next lockdown will be the last lockdown, and it's going to get really bad, you know. The first one wasn't really that bad, and people were killing themselves. You know, people were buying. Uh, Cats and dogs, 
so they won't be lonely. Uh, I mean, the list goes on, man. And people, like people, were just going crazy to the point of where they started to act up. Uh, you know, you know, pretty much being rebellious and just leaving the house anyways, and they didn't care what happened to them. You know, but this time it's gonna get worse. It's gonna be to where it's gonna be uh, soldiers walking up and down the streets. You know, when they mobilize the military. It's going to get that bad out here. But back to the article. It says uh, the White House uh, CV advisor answered questions about about mask mandates, game of function research and more. So just pretty much they're going how uh, it's pretty much they're mentioning 2020. No. At that first lockdown, but this time it's going to get way worse. Long story short, so they said it's going to be much, much more stringent. All right, so let's go to the definition of stringent, then we're going to move on to the definition of draconian. So, stringent of regulations, requirements, or conditions, strict, strict, precise, and exacting. And now this is the definition of draconian of laws of their application excessively excessively harsh and severe. Excessively harsh and severe. So it's going so it's going to be very harsh and severe, man. Excessively at a greater level. And people aren't ready for a greater level. But as you know, as men of the Lord, that we pray, that we adapt when they push that greater level of uh of harsh laws. Sooner or later it's going to uh it's gonna break a lot of people. Right now, a lot of people are becoming more weak. You know, because the place is falling apart, man, as we speak. Like due to, like due to the uh, inflation, you know, gas prices, uh, businesses are losing, uh, uh, like losing customers, you know, jobs are cutting hours, like due to the expense of, of, uh, of, uh, of food and It's uh, you know, like the list goes on, you know. And uh, I was watching a class earlier of one of the elders, uh, uh, El Apostle Tahar, and he was mentioning the word government and the etymology. He said, uh, like the word government means my control, and uh, and I got the etymology of the government, you know, because the government is very corrupted. And they're going to push very, very uh, harsh laws very soon, you know, and, and a lot of people will become rebellious towards, you know, their government. But let's get the etymology of government. So, uh, the, yeah, so the etymology of government, late 14th century act of governing or ruling system by which a thing is governed. But let's get the point. Control, direction, administration, control, all right, or, or originally to steer, to pilot, all right. So governing power. So they want to have control. They want to direct the people, you know. But this time they wanted to to have control, to direct, you know. To steer the people at a very harsher level, you know, totalitarianism. Let's get the word to, uh, let's get the word totalitarianism. Okay, so the word totalitarianism. It says a system of government that is 
centralized and dictatorial, all right, dictatorship, and requires complete subservience to the state. So they want to have the people to be subservient. They want to, uh, they want to have complete control. Complete control. And let's get subservient to edify or subservience. All right, so the word subservient means prepared to obey others unquestionably. Subservient means prepared to obey others unquestionably. So they want you to obey without asking any questions. So when they switch to that digital uh, currency and, they, and and these harsh laws, you know, they say you, you're going to get this, uh, uh, you know, a jab within your body, and they and they expect you to say yes. And then sooner or later, they're going to push uh, that karagma, and they're going to be like, you're going to take this. If you want to continue, uh, if you want to continue to work, to live, to eat, to be with your family, to continue in the society, they expect you to say yes. And if you don't, you get uh, you're going to be sent to a, a re-education camp and get your head chopped off. You know, and I remember a brother mentioning that he had a dream that uh, he was at a re-education uh, center and he saw all the guillotines and people were about to go to the guillotine and get their head chopped off and the people who were in front of them uh, collapsed and gave up the ghost once they saw the guillotines but the Lord put the strong spirit on him to not give up the ghost you know we're coming into these serious times to where we we will see uh, a, a, a choice right in front of us, you know, and we pray that the Lord that and we pray that the Lord like gives us a very strong spirit in the hour of temptation, you know. Esau's going to be Esau. He's going to do what he got to do, but the number one enemy that you have to face is yourself. Because words are words at the end of the day when you say, I'm not going to take the karagma. I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take the badge of servitude. You know? It's easy to say that, but when the time comes, when, you just, when your stomach is growling, you know, when you've been uncomfortable for seven amount of days, weeks, maybe months, and you see all these people continuing their lives while you're suffering, you know? You're gonna have a choice if you want to continue for your Haba Shimashai or or be weak and fall over it and serve the devil. Esau Edom. The so-called white man which is the elite banking families and everyone else who isn't anyone else who is of the lineage of the Edomites you know you never want to be subservient to these people man you gotta have some form of prudence within yourself you know there's people who who don't read Bibles who don't know nothing about the Bible but they still have some level of common sense not to do what the government says. You know? Like these uh, uh, internet food preppers. You know? And some of them think that they know the scriptures, but they really don't. But what I'm trying to say is it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a, a, a very, very tough time when it comes to those days, man, it's gonna to be tough. But but we need the spirit of power, y'all bust you not shy, to get us through those times, man. You know? 
So I'm going to read Isaiah 10 and 1. And then I'm going to end it off with Psalms 37. So Isaiah chapter 10 verse 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that give grievousness which they have have prescribed. So destruction upon those which is the wicked elites that that about to push the unrighteous decrees upon the people, man. Woe unto them. Destruction upon them. You know? Destruction upon them who push these harsh and excessive evil laws towards the people, especially towards the Lord's people, the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Okay? And uh, we're going to end it off at Psalms 37. Come. So this is the book of Psalms, chapter 37, verse 28. For Yahweh loveth judgment, and forsaketh not his saints. All right, and who are his saints? Psalms 148 and 14, which is which are the Israelites, man. The Israelites are the saints. Okay, and Psalms 148 and 14. Read it on. They are preserved forever, but the seed of of the wicked shall be cut off. Okay? They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. And we're going to witness the seed of the wicked will be will be cut off, man. And the seed of the wicked, the border of wickedness is Esau, Edom. The Edomites, the so-called white people, will be cut off. And they're going to be put into slavery after this, man, because they've been ruling ever since the Grecian, you know, down to the Roman uh, Roman Empire, and today America, which is Roman rebirth, the NATO and the EU, the North Atlantic uh, a Treaty Organization, and, European, uh, and the European Union, you know, these people gotta go, and they've been pushing nothing but wickedness. They've been pushing nothing but wickedness, man, in these last days. So we will witness a race and a nation of people be destroyed after a thousand years of hardcore bondage. After their kingdom has fallen over. So I hope this class was edified to the elect. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yashab Bashim Kakadash. Till next time I say shalom, DTA, a ball, a ball, soon.